Hello, my beautiful Geminis. Welcome to your monthly love, career and finance, health and wellness hor horoscope forecast for June. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you to all my members. I realized that the other video had some sound issues and that seems to be what's been going on for me today, a lot of sound issues. So hopefully this video takes okay. I love you guys. I'm sorry about the uh, challenges around the sound issues. Also guys, um, Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you to all my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And I'm not accepting personal readings at this time. However, I will be giving out some free readings, which is free to join, free to get involved with. And I will give you all the information at the end of this video. So hopefully you'll be able to hear me this time. Okay. So let's jump right in. I've already shuffled all of your cards. Let's take a look at some of your messages here. <laughs> your commitment is being tested. Really? <laughs> I feel like this message is also meant for me today. So it looks like there is some sense of confusion, but um, it does look like the moon is coming out there. So I feel like, yes, there is, you're gonna gain some clarity here and it will be revealed, okay? Just know that you need to have some healthy boundaries in place and you have to understand your value here because you're good enough. And just surrender to the divine and know everything happens for a reason here. And you see like, your commitment is being tested and you see half a moon there. And then as you surrender to the divine, it opens completely up for you, okay? Because you're realizing the whole lesson around this is to learn the fact that you have to love yourself and you have to know that there needs to be healthy boundaries in place. You know, you can't always be afraid not to say, you know, no. I mean, a lot of times we'll say yes, yes, yes. You know, some of us out there will say yes even though it may go against what we want in our situation and we just go with that flow, but we're not valuing ourselves if we're not having healthy boundaries in place. So we have to know our value. We know we have to know we're good enough. You guys uh, need to take that time to give yourself that space, that time to breathe, that time to meditate, okay? Take that time, give yourself a break here because the answers that you need are coming, as I said. If you surrender to the divine here, it will open completely up for you. And the energy is gaining momentum here, Gemini. So things are about to move in your favor. And you just have to release the negativity and the fears around this. That's exa exactly what I feel like here. So just understanding that grounding yourself and understanding you're good enough and having those healthy boundaries in place and understand that you know, the answers will be revealed to you through communication here as we see the Gemini energy. Yes, you're gonna have to dig deep and you're gonna have to clear away all these fears and all these anxieties within you, but through Scorpio energy by really analyzing this. But if you do that, things are gonna move in your favor and you're surrendering to the divine and it will open up for you. Okay, so let's now look at your love life here, Gemini. What's going on my Gemini's romantic love life for June, show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we got the Nine of Swords energy, the Seven of Wands energy, the Knight of Wands energy, the King of Cups energy, the Seven of Cups energy, the Queen of Wands energy, the Knight of Swords energy, the Star card energy, and wow, the World card energy. Wow, there's Definitely some options and choices for you, Gemini, coming up. There are people trying to fight over you. They're stressing about you. Okay, let me use this, actually. Those are for my career and finance. Gemini's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about. How does Gemini's love interest feel about them romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we got single and available to pursue. New love, Gemini. Okay, okay. Knowledge, okay, book card. And we got the ring card energy, the letter card energy, okay. The regrets, mm-hmm. Confusion. Ex-partner, Gemini, oh my goodness, and reconciliation. So whatever this was, Gemini, or whatever this is that you tuned into, let's take a look at this. Let me just change my camera angle here. Okay. So actually, also let me move this over so you can see it a little better. And we're going to clarify even further, okay? So no worries. Okay, so they feel like they want to find out if you're single and available to pursue because of this 
sense of new potential love and they want to gain knowledge here. This person wants to commit to you and they want to reach out to you. They are reaching out. Communication and messages are going to come soon because this person has a lot of regrets. We see that they want to send you this text, text message, Facebook message, or this communication about single and available to gain knowledge. All right. They feel like they're confused here because they have uncertainty because there may be an ex-partner involved with your situation and a reconciliation here. So we see that they want new love and a commitment here to you. There's something to do with this ex-partner and some sense of regrets. Okay, and for some of you, this may be the ex here that you're wondering about. This person wants renewed love here and a commitment here. They want to resolve this, this uh, unfinished business here because they have regrets about what happened. They want to make sure you're single and available because they need clarity here about a reconciliation and gaining knowledge. Okay, for some of you, it's like this person is a new person in your life and they're like, all right, are they single and available? What are they still doing with their ex? Because I don't want to have any regrets here and regret what my decision making here because I want a commitment. I don't want to be involved in a situation where somebody has an ex-partner involved so they need to gain clarity here so we come over here nine of swords is telling me and jesus this person really looks like they're stressing here it's like i am stressing oh my god all these thoughts are coming into my mind here i want to fight for this i want to defend my position i'm willing to battle whoever it takes here because i want to be with you gemini and you know what this person definitely wants some chemistry and passion with you. They're trying to take some actions towards that with that Knight of Wands energy. Mm -hmm. Or they're stressing about the fact that maybe there's going to be a lack of commitment here and they want to fight for this because they do have love for you, Gemini, with the King of Cups energy. They have the wisdom here of knowing that you are a wise choice and a wise decision when it comes to love and romance because of the past experiences that they dealt with with the King of Cups energy. Let's go for here. And... They just want to make sure that they're not confused here about what you want. Seven of Cups energy. Because it does look like you got some options here, Gemini. You got Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy here. You got Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. And you got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So you got a couple of different energies here. So it looks like you definitely have some options coming up this month here. And it does look like one particular person wants to fight for you with the Seven of Wands energy. They're willing to fight for this. They want to defend their position here. And they're hopeful of some things happening with you and them. They want to have a sense of accomplishment, a sense of completion. They want things to come full circle with you and them, okay? The world card means that they want to take this from one level of commitment to another level of commitment here. And why? Because they have all this chemistry and passion here with the Queen of Wands energy. And they've been patient about this. Because they're ready to go jump on, <laughs> jump on you with the Knight of Wands energy. Knight of Wands is definitely a fast-moving action there. And then you got the Knight of Swords. It's like an abrupt decision is being made here because they want to fulfill their wishes with you with the star card energy for a sense of accomplishment, a sense of completion. If we look at the numbers of this, there is wishes being fulfilled here because there's a lot of analyzing about this action because there's wisdom in analyzing some things here when it comes to patient energy, when it comes to passions. What should I do here before taking this action? I want to be hopeful that things will have a sense of accomplishment, a sense of completion. We'll be able to take it all the way. All right, let's keep going. Yep. Wisdom here when it comes to long-term commitment. Mm -hmm. Are they single and available to pursue? Or there's a self-focus going on here to gain clarity. So like, all right, Gemini, are you single and available to pursue? So I'm trying to gain clarity about this. I want to get the answers that I need. It's swords energy because you're like my soulmate connection. I love you. I want to start a relationship with you or I want to come together in a relationship. And there's definitely this very nurturing energy here with the Queen of Pentacles energy. Um, there's a sense of I want things to turn in my favor with the Wheel of Fortune card energy. So I want to flirt with you or send you a potential message of passion to take control of things with the Emperor card energy or why you're at work <laughs> because this person does want a stable relationship with the Four of Wands energy or for some of you a little bit more like marriage and long-term commitment okay with the Four of Wands energy here. And then let's clarify further. What is this Nine of Pentacles about? What is this Nine of Pentacles about? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. This Nine of Pentacles is about a person. And the sense, are they being honest with me? And is there wisdom around this? When it comes to stable relationship, right? House and family, stable relationship, close to home, stability and stableness when it comes to people or choices. So they're like, all right, Gemini, 
You know, are you being honest with me? Are you single and available? You know, I want to be patient here because I want something stable here. Because I know you have options here and I really love you with heart card energy. Let's heal this connection here and fulfill our desires here with the star card energy. Why is the two of cups here? Why is the two of cups here? Why is the two of cups here? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So there's changes here or movement towards improvements or changes or starting a family, store card energy because of arguments and disputes or hurt or pain, which has been a burden, a challenge here around desires or lack of flexibility when it comes to this indecision or crossroads when it comes to this person. Okay, what is this? What is this Emperor card energy about? Okay. It's to do with this text message, Facebook message, what did I say? They're going to send you some kind of message here about an opportunity, key card energy, because they feel isolated and separated, tower card energy, and for some of you, they want a reconciliation or they're taking a risk here. They want to pay you a visit there with that Knight of Wands energy because they have a sense of confusion about this connection when it comes to romance and they're trying to gain knowledge, book card energy. So they're trying to take control of things. They're trying to like reach out, send you some flirty messages here. And they're looking for something more serious though, honestly. And they're taking some abrupt, abrupt actions here to send these potential passionate messages out here because they want to take control of things because they're hopeful about taking this to another level of commitment, possibly for some of you, marriage and long-term commitment here with the Four of Wands energy. Okay, so let's now look at your career and finance, Gemini. What's going to happen with my Gemini's career and finance for June? Here my cards I need to see. Cards I need to see. Gemini's career and finance for June. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, feels good. So it looks to me, guys, like you're going to have... A renewal here so yes you've been going through some crap but things are going to come to a uh, full circle here and it's going to give you a sense of renewal like things are coming together now okay there is some sense of passion chemistry and desire around this you see prosperity is coming out so yeah you're finally in a recovery mode and your prosperity Huge changes are happening with the transformational card energy. We've got the butterfly there. So you're going to see some signs of the doors opening for you. You've had to deal with some karma here. And now things are changing. Because there is some kind of commitment or contract or partnership for some of you with the marriage card energy. And there is something new coming in here with the child card energy. You're going to have a good time this month here with the Paradise card. Some of you may be taking a vacation or there's some kind of conference going on there. And there's definitely some healing happening for you guys when it comes to career and finance. Yep, what did I say? Travel. Travel, movement, or change. And you're going to fulfill your desires with the Witch card energy because there's going to be choices that you're really going to love here. And you're just going to have a good time. There is a sense of beautiful energy here. Okay, so we got... Knight of Wands energy, Seven of Wands energy, Ten of Wands energy, Knight of Swords, Star card, Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. All right, let's take a look at this. Let me switch the cameras out here. All right, so we see with the Knight of Wands energy, you are going towards what you really feel passionate about. You're making abrupt decisions here. And you're going towards things that you feel passion, passionate about and creative about with the Knight of Wands energy. You are defending your position and you're winning here because you have the higher ground here. Because you're finally overcoming these burdens that you've been dealing with, right? It's finally coming to an end here with that Ten of Wands energy. It looks like with the Knight of Swords energy, there is a sense of abrupt decision making and actions being taken here with that Knight of Swords energy. Which is bringing you a lot of hope here with the Star card energy. You guys are going to be able to invest some time in this. Or for some of you, there may be an investment that's going to come to fruition. It's going to really bear some fruit here with that Seven of Pentacles energy. 
we see that you're going to have all the money that you need this month here with the nine of pentacles energy you're you're going to you're going to be taken care of and you'll have more than enough you're going to have a lot of choices and options coming up for you guys which you're going to be figuring out like all right what do i want to do here like you're going to be examining each one of those options and choices you may be gaining some advice here with the queen of pentacles energy there's a very nurturing energy here towards virgo capricorn energy and it's this 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 patient energy like hmm okay now where do i move forward here what's going to be the best bet for me options wise on the long-term basis so definitely with the star card energy it tells me at the central here there's definitely hope when it comes to your current finance in your wishes here so definitely very good energy and there's actions being taken towards this self-focus and this patient energy because you have an awareness that you know you're 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 completing things here you're letting go of these burdens these responsibilities it's finally coming to an end and seven of wands is telling me that there's analyzing about these actions here and these choices that you have here you're really thinking contemplating about being patient here and just waiting and seeing how things play out with that seven of pentacles energy we go further here you're having a sense of joy and a sense of celebration here because of somebody from the past and a boss possibly with an emperor card energy or you're, you're taking on more responsibility you have this potential new situation happening here and there's this truth about this wisdom here when it comes to your creativities and passions you're walking away from things here um, because you're really putting work or effort into this or you're educating yourself on your choices here because you're ready to make this sacrifice or you're trying to see it from a whole new perspective here with the hangman energy there is a little bit of stress around this here with the Nine of Swords energy because you're like, all right, am I making the best decision based on my past experiences when it comes to a long-term commitment here? But you will take some actions here that you truly love with the Nine of Cups energy. Okay, so guys, now we're gonna move back here and we're going to take a look at what's going on with your health and wellness, Geminis. And I'm praying that the sound is, is, is good to go here, Geminis. All right. Give me some health and wellness advice for my Geminis. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So Geminis, you have natural healing abilities. You just have to tune into them, okay? It says that, Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for clearly guiding and in encouraging me and supporting me in my healing work. And yes, we all are a victim of this, Gemini. Stay positive. And focus on the unconditional joy obviously if you have joy and you keep that energy that automatically puts a body in the best state possible so all right my beautiful Gemini's I love you guys so much if you guys like to hit that like button let me know in the comments below thank you so much for liking sharing and subscribing thank you to my members if you'd like to become a member all you have to do is click the join button below um, I am providing uh, a free three free readings actually which i'll be announcing in june all you have to do it's free to enter free to get involved it's for a free reading just put soulmate in the comments below and then i'm going to pick three people based on who spirit feels needs a personal reading at this time okay i love you guys so much i hope you guys have a great rest of your month it does sound like it's going to be a great month and i will see you in another day or two have a great rest of your month see you